All right, uh, part two. I didn't say my catchphrase last time. How are we doing on breadsticks over here? Boom. Got my catchphrase out of the way. Uh, I, I am recording this a little bit later than when I recorded the first half. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not buzzed anymore. I had a pot of coffee, sobered up. Now we're ready for part two. Jean-Pierre Weary, hopefully a more focused and, uh, and clear, clear uh, commentary here. So. And if you're finding this before finding part one, uh, part one is somewhere out there. And if you just want to listen to the video, I'll put it in the description so you can listen to it without my yammering. All right, let's go. I was told that a young man... Who was sending these emails with your... I haven't moved out of account since 1999. But, okay, so I, I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know how, to, how to catch us all up on, on the goings-on of this interview here. Uh, previously, I'll try to you know, piece it together. I guess most people watching this will probably be watching it after part one, so they won't need a, a catch-up. But Jean-Pierre Weary said that he used this for a dating service. He used this uh, his email address for a dating service. So has he not used it since 1991? Or uh, has he not used it? since he was a part of that dating service. I, I don't know. John, which one is it? Who is the problem with that? I know you were at a public library using a computer. Ew. You know what I was, or you know that somebody was using that account? I know you were. You know, I was. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. So John's kind of calling him on it. You know, how do you know that I was? You know, you know that somebody was, or you know that I was. Like, like uh, <laughs> John looks very sleepy here. Uh, you know, kind of a uh, kind of questioning what Chris Hansen's methodology was. Did he have somebody following Mister Pierre Weary here to the library? Um, uh, did he track the IP address? You know, what, what was going on here? He, he's trying to get some information. And Chris obviously bluffing. They have no way to confirm whether or not JPW was at the library. But come on, JPW. You know, this is the kind of guy... I used to work at a library. Um, and this is the kind of guy I would remember. <laughs> a guy who comes in smelling like a, like weak old fish, I imagine. Who signs up for the thing using a f obviously fake name. I'm sure he put... Uh, John Wiltsey or whatever, you know, used his fake name. Probably was caught masturbating at that library a time or two. I caught a, I caught a theater, not a theater, a uh, library masturbator a couple of times. You know, had to, had to bounce him out the door. This was back in my library days. So I'm sure that the people at the library know JPW very well and could confirm that he was there during that day at that time. I do sometimes go in and talk to a friend of mine in the public library. Sure. You know that you Can I to... taste your nuts? <laughs> <It's on> my... <laughs> I think I heard... Didn't I hear that last time? That's not my style. Yeah. Okay. Can I taste your nuts? <laughs> this is good. You know that Jane Can I taste is... your nuts? <laughs> it's not my style. <laughs> Why did, Hanson, why did Hanson say, like, can I taste your nuts? Why did he say? You know that Jane Can I taste eat. your nuts? <laughs> it just says There's no build up. You know, normally Hanson prefaces a line like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's usually like, well, why would you say something like this to a young man. Can I taste your nuts? Hanson just comes out with it. I guess he just, I bet Hanson just found it in the chat log. He's, you know, he's flipping through. We can hear him flipping through the papers in the background. Uh, I bet he just came, came across, can I taste your nuts? And <laughs> Is that the funniest line any predator sent to a child? <laughs> I mean, Mr. Penis is pretty funny, but can I taste your nuts? <laughs> you know that Jane Can I, I taste your nuts? <laughs> and it's on my style. Blame me. 
That's what porn is. That's not my style. That's lots of hot sex. Style. How can I promote someone I never had lots of hot sex? I can see that <laughs> Great point. a couple of people might want to try to get me in trouble. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, I being, I, I'm being set up. There's the tongue making another appearance. I know a few people might want to get me in trouble. Yeah, JPW. JPW is a big deal, you know, in the film industry. You know, there, there's more than there's more than a couple of people in, uh, in, in boardrooms around L.A. that would like JPW out of the way. Let me tell you. All right. Uh, you know, I wonder if JBW had any dealings with Harvey Weinstein. You know, maybe he went to Harvey Weinstein's island a couple of times. Got to, uh, Harvey Weinstein got a discount on some uh, photography work for some of the movies he was producing. I don't know. Saying this with somebody else, even though we know you were at the public library using a computer. And what you know is I was at a public library. So that's what you may know. Well, you don't know everything I know. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, my God. Wow. Really just a... Uh, just a perfect summation of this back and forth, right? You know, John, they're both kind of bullshitting each other. It's kind of interesting, you know. John's like, you don't know what, what uh, you don't know everything. What you may know it isn't representative of the whole truth. And Hanson's like, I know everything. And they're both kind of bullshitting. And look at his face here. <laughs> this is the face of a man who's fighting for his life. Right? I don't know if he was on probation still for that rape back in the early 2000s, but I think he knows, you know what I mean? Like a two-strike felon for this sort of thing. I He's had experience with law enforcement. I At, at this point, he knows he's fighting for his life because he's still in jail. Uh, JPW will die in jail. And he's in jail in California. Uh, very difficult states to be in jail for a long time for. So, yeah, J JPW, uh, things are not looking too good here. You're going to have to pull out a, a little bit of a better story here in the second half. So you want to tell me the real story now? Can I taste your you hats? <laughs> and when does the real story get me? Oh. It's not the first time somebody has tried to take that position. You know, that's an old email account. I don't use mm. it anymore. But when you... You take them through the map. This is the communication that we have between somebody using your screen name and a young teen. And all of a sudden, you're here. All of a sudden, you, you're here. You. Not someone else. What an interesting addition by Chris Hansen. I, I get, I, I've said it before in a previous commentary, but th it would be so much more interesting if the behind-the-scenes talking heads things were not with Chris Hansen. But we're with the person, the perverted justice person, who was conversating, to quote Jesse Velez, conversating with the predator. That would make it so much more interesting. I would love to hear what whoever, whatever decoy was talking to JPW. I'd love to hear whatever they have to say about, can I taste your nets? It's up to you. You can tell me the truth, you can tell me the story. It's up to you. I can't make you do one thing or the other. And your story doesn't make that much sense. Now, maybe maybe I'm skeptical. skeptical. You, no. That's a great line. No, no. I Oh, God. J JPW ha does this all the time. Oh, man. I got so many ideas flooding my mind. That's, that's one of my favorite Hanson lines. Now, maybe I'm skeptical. But your story doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, he's acknowledging. Perhaps, uh, perhaps Chris is a little jaded at this point. This isn't his first rodeo. You know, this isn't his... This isn't his first time writing the bull that is JPW, right? It's, he's been around the block a little bit. Maybe he's a little jaded. Maybe he's just skeptical. And JPW's story makes perfect sense. And then JPW comes back, no, 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 you've got it all wrong. He's done this a few times so far. No, 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 no. See, you're trying to make my story sound ridiculous. When, in fact, I heard from a Mexican on the bus named Michael that there was construction. I saw construction, and then I went around to a bunch of back doors in this neighborhood, and I went, pss, pss, after someone else framed me, uh, trying to have a sexually charged conversation with a child. No, no, no. See, that that's what you're saying, but that's just a total fabrication. I mean, it's what I said, but it's, it's just, it's you're painting me out to be a bad person, and I'm not. I'm the hero here. I'm JPW. <laughs> Your story doesn't make that much sense. Now, maybe I'm skeptical. You, no, I don't know. But who, it doesn't I don't make know sense. who you are. I don't even know who you are. The paradigm has changed. I don't even know who you are. I came in here. I was just now told that. Well, okay. Um, I don't even. I. I I hate it when the predators take this position. You know, I don't even know who you are. I'd like to see some identification. 
Uh, Jay Refner does this. Um, who's that fucker? Uh, the the school teacher. Ugh, fuck. You know the 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 school teacher and this name Sting is Jay Refner. Fuck. What is that fucker's name? The Corvette guy teacher James Rutherford. Um. Yeah, he does the same thing. I'd like to see some identification. Sir, you are in a home where you came in and started talking to someone you believe to be a child. And even if you didn't, let's remove that. You are breaking and entering presently, Mr. Mr. Jean-Pierre Weary. So don't try and high road me. I don't even know who you are. You're already committing a felony. Just by sitting in this house presently, you are committing a felony. That gate's open. Come on in. Okay. And who told you that? A young man. A young End man. of story. Okay. I was told this young man here that knows. What? They Lick your lips some more. This guy that runs this construction company on the phone with him. What this sounds like, Michael, is that mm. you were coming here to have sex with a 13 year old boy. Oh, oh hell no. I'm trying, I'm dating. I got her phone number. I'm dating a young black girl, is what he said. It's always a young black girl, isn't it? For some reason, isn't there another predator who's like, oh yeah, I'm dating a black girl. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I guess there's some specificity to it, but it's so weird. Oh, hell no. What's better? What? No way. Michael Wiltsey or Jean-Pierre Weary? Who does the better? What? No way. I... I I think it still goes to Wiltsy, but JPW beats him in other ways. What this sounds like, Michael, is that you were coming here to have sex with a 13-year-old boy. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I got her phone number on my, on my computer and on my phone. End of story. And I'm dating a young black girl. Oh, there it is. A young black girl. Okay. I don't know what they bleeped out then. Yeah, he's dating a young black girl. He knows a Mexican on the bus. This is like a, this is like a modern uh, Disney movie, right? It's, they've met all of their diversity inclusion uh, quotas. <laughs> There's a Mexican on the bus, a Central American. You have a, an African American in the in the story. This is great. Of course, the lead is a white person. You, can, you can't. <laughs> You can't, you can't have diversity in that way, you know, but yeah, we, we, we've got enough colorful characters, no pun intended, to uh, make the story work for modern audiences. JPW's story really does have everything. You know, it's got love. He's, he loves this young man, lust. He wants to, he wants to taste his nuts. It's got, it's got intrigue. It's got betrayal. You know, Luke set him up. This is a lie. It's got all the diversity you'd want. <laughs> it's got a, an African American girlfriend's uh, Mexican on a bus. This is just a perfect story. We got a JPW. You work in Hollywood. How did you not get this made? Well, why would you see these things? Maybe you thought it was a thirteen. Maybe somebody else that was also on the computer. Oh yeah. And, and oh yeah. Used, been, been using my name. Been using my name. So it's one big mix up. Ah, uh, classic mix up. I came in for, and I don't have sex with anybody. Not even your black girlfriend? You don't have sex with anybody, JPW? What about that person you raped? You had sex with them, right? Not me. And you, if you were, if you were anybody had access to my record, you look at my record, you figure out that mm -hmm. the only time I had any problems with anybody was a young woman. Unless you look at my adolescent oh, yeah. stuff. And then I was an adolescent. So that's a pretty... That, I gotta say, in terms of predator strategy, that's gotta be the boldest. It's like, look, I have, look, okay, you think I'm here to sexually assault somebody. And if you look at my record, you'll see, yes, I have sexually assaulted somebody. And as a minor, I sexually assaulted people and did, uh, did, did crimes against minors. So there you go. See, I wouldn't do this. Like, I, I... Appreciate the uniqueness of the strategy he's attempting to employ, um, but I, I don't I don't see the the efficacy of uh, or how how this could pan out in his favor, right? I don't rape anybody except that person I tried to rape, and I don't do anything to minors except for those things I did to minors. Like I, JPW, I don't know, I don't know about that part of the story, JPW. So you got a record. I'm guessing I do. Mm -hmm. You're guessing you do. Yeah, I have a record. You so know, you had a problem with a young woman. A long time ago. A long time ago. How, how long ago? Uh, Ten years ago. Time for that. 
Don't you know? Oh. I'm asking you. Why are you asking? I want to know the truth. Yes, I've done time for that. Straight up. Straight up, I've done time for that. Okay. He was a well a young woman. Ain't no kids in me. Hmm. There's nothing in my records that even suggest it. Well, except for that rape and the crimes against children, right? Wow, what a, what a, what a paused face here. So immediately after clarifying, yes, I did things against people and I've served time for it. Now he's like, there's nothing on my record except for all of the things on my record that would even suggest it. I don't know, JPW. I have walked from... Okay. Oh, look, I'll just... Uh, yep. Let me get my milk out of my bag. What? <laughs> what a fucking... What, what, what a crazy turn. Let me get the milk out of my bag. What? What, what are you talking... Milk out of your bag. So he's trying to change the subject, right? Uh, there's nothing on my record except for those things on my record that would even suggest it. And anyway, I was walking. Like, he's going... That's I think that's his comfort zone. I... I was walking is where he feels comfortable. He really wants to chat about how uh, he walked. As if that'll somehow exonerate him. And now he's gonna now he's gonna reach back and get some get some milk out of the back of his bag. Some warm milk that's been in there since last Tuesday. Uh, you let me get my milk out of my bag. What? <laughs> I just just I'd rather you didn't go into that. Yeah, don't I mean, uh I'm almost finished. Look at how upset he is. Oh sort of forlorn. Yeah, JPW was expecting to be able to get his milk. This is one sad JPW. He just, he, really, I think a sip of warm milk would have put him over the top here. It really would have tied this whole story together. But milk is a, is like a brain food. It's a brain drink. Would, that extra calcium really would have helped him out in, in formulating a, a fake story that made sense. Huh? Huh? What was your plan here? My plan was because I'm desperate for a job. I had no money income. Not okay. Enough. Really? That's it. You know what part of my problem has been? Okay, I can tell you where my desperation comes from. Okay? My okay. desperation was for a job. If somebody else had used an, uh, an email account that I used a long time ago, I'm sorry about that. Then we got then I, I, then I got to change a, a number of things. Okay. That I, had on by G. I like how he's still kind of like vying for the job. He's like, listen, I'm Des, I have no income. So if you're still higher, are you Mr. Pedersen? Like on the, on the off chance that Chris is one Mr. John Pedersen. And this is just, you know, this, <laughs> this is a unique interview experience where uh, John Pedersen puts somebody, you know, he puts them under pressure. He grills them about something that they didn't do and sees see how they respond. In, in sticky situations like this. Maybe Mr. John Pedersen isn't hiring for construction work, but rather PR management. He wants to see how JPW does under fire. I think he's getting the job. This is pretty solid. I mean, it could use a little bit of work, but uh, not bad. I've definitely seen worse. We'll see. Yahoo since 1999. That, that is the truth. Now, I have, I've been in the library. I've taught China with a couple of people. Okay, that's one of my favorite lines. I've talked China with a couple people. What the fuck does that mean? Is that racist? I've talked China with a couple of people? Is, does that... Oh, I think I just figured it out. Does that mean nonsense? Like, to an English speaker, Mandarin sounds like nonsense. So if you just, you know, you're shooting the shit, you're not really talking about anything, that means talking China? I don't know. I, it's... Hmm. I, I, I don't like that. You know, you were doing great with the DEI earlier, JPW, but now I, I don't know. That, that line, that, this isn't going to play in Asian audiences. We need to get an Asian person into this movie. Uh, that, I think that would really help. You know, China's a big market. They, they, they get, you can make some big bucks in movies over there, JPW. Now, I have, I've been in the library. I've taught China with a couple of people. There are a couple of flakes in this world that I know of. You're talking to a boy named Luke. I don't know a boy named Luke. I mean, I'll be there as close to 11 as possible. So there are a couple of flakes in this world that I know about. You know, continuing with the, um, uh, continuing with the, the lie that he's being set up 
You know, I know that there are a couple of flakes in this world. I, I don't know, JPW. Possible, so I will need your number so that I can call you when I'm near the bus stop. I will look for you, and we will discreetly go to your room and talk. And we'll talk about whatever pops up mm -hmm. and stimulates you. I will look for you, yep. and we will discreetly go to your room and talk. And we'll talk about whatever pops up and stimulates you and do whatsoever you want. You are reading me something that somebody wrote. <laughs> so I need exact bus stop near our place. You are reading me something someone wrote. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. That'd be so weird. Imagine just being grilled <laughs> about a, a conversation like this. And you, they, you're you innocent. Wouldn't you be outraged? You wouldn't be like, I, you know, hey, that's that's weird. I don't know. You read some, some fiction? Is this part of a book that you're writing, Mr. Pedersen? I, you'd be disgusted. You'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? You'd be, I'm sorry you're reading me that. And I, I looked up Talk China, you know, nothing, nothing, uh, I, I found nothing. Just gave me courses on how to learn Mandarin, so I, I don't know. Maybe JPW made that up. Maybe it's like an original racism from JPW. <laughs> an original racism. Places I get off, <laughs> I'll walk toward your street, so you also must tell me how to get to your bed from there. Well. Well. I don't know about what everybody that this person has said to a 13 year old. I've never even met a 13 year old. Okay, you've overplayed your hand. I've never met a 13 year old. What about when you were 13? You just weren't around other 13 year olds? You were sequestered for that one year? Just no 13 year olds around JPW, I guess. I don't even know a 13 year old. It's like earlier when he said, I don't even know a Luke. Like, I, really? Have you ever seen Star Wars, Luke Skywalker? You, you never heard of Luke? Come on, JPW. You're being ridiculous. I'm not going to talk to somebody I know that before. That's what it looks like you did. I never met this person. Who's Luke? I never met one of them. Who's who? You didn't talk to them via the internet. I've never talked to anybody that I know of by the name of Luke. Grant, I talked to somebody tonight. I know the young man in the name. So someone random calls you up as you're walking to this address, just randomly. You, you don't even bother asking their name. You're like, hey, uh, I'm, I work for John Pedersen, and JPW just so happened on, uh, late at night. He got, the, he got the bug. He was like, I'm sick of being unemployed. Tonight is the night I get a job. And he was walking over to uh, John Pedersen's house. He didn't know what house. He just knew... That he lived in this neighborhood. And he got a call from this, this guy and said, Hey, I work for John Pedersen. Just by happenstance. And if you're, uh, if you're in the neighborhood, you should swing by his house around 11 p.m.-ish. And JPW was like, How serendipitous. I, I'm already in the neighborhood. I'll have to swing by. Thank you, kind stranger. And he just didn't get the name. Okay. All right. Yeah, sounds, sounds legit. Sorry, there was some issue with my computer. I don't know what was going on, so... Pff, I think I was around here. Who's Luke? I never met one of those. You didn't talk to him via the internet? I've never talked to anybody that I know of by the name of Luke. Mm. Grant, I talked to somebody tonight. I never asked a young man in the name. Alright, I remember this. Well... I know that I've seen in the name. The reason why I'm so curious about all of this... I'm just curious. I'm Chris Hansen. I wonder if this was after uh, Daniel Polito. Or not Daniel Polito, Dan Allen. I wonder if uh, Curious was on, was on Chris's mind because of Dan Allen. We've been doing a story on computer vectors. Adults who go online and try to be... If you have anything else you'd like to say for yourself, you probably... Oh, man. Dude, did you see that look up at Hanson? Let me try and catch it. Now, if you have anything else you'd like to say for yourself... Oh, man. That... Oh, that's a guy who's like, oh, there's things I'd like to fucking say. Yeah, speaking of Dan Allen, I think uh, JPW would like to take Hanson outside. I'd like to talk to you outside. I can't turn the cameras off. Come on. 
Jesus Christ. Jesus. Hey, up. I'm not doing anything. Well. No, if there's not, it's Scott Pedersen. Well, John Pedersen. Of course, Chris, uh, Chris didn't quite catch on to that. But, yeah, it's... Uh, the name has changed. Uh, he didn't seem to take getting the address too seriously or the name of anybody else or the name of the construction company even. Chris never asks him about the name of the construction company. But, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like JPW is too concerned with any of the finer details of this employment opportunity that he's, that he's pursuing quite vigorously in the dead of night. And... Do you have Scott Pedersen's name written down? No, I have an address. I can leave an address. That, that's all I was planning to do. Just know Scott Pedersen. I can leave the phone number, my address. So you never wrote down Scott Pedersen's name? Well, I didn't write anybody else's name either. You know, they changed some things, but no, I have never, ever, <laughs> ever. I, you've never, ever, ever what? Written Scott Pedersen's name down? Well, you should. Why don't you get some pen and paper and write it down? That way, uh, you know, maybe later on his first name won't change. Is there anything else you want to say? No. Okay. No. Bum ba 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 and he's off. He's, he's off to his another another great adventure. Perhaps next time he'll land the job. <laughs> this job interview, uh, you know, a little unorthodox for for JPW. Not your not a typical job interview. But uh, I, he handled it like a champ. You know, puts on that hat and he's off to the races. Uh, takes this one on the chin. You know, you can't win them all. You can't win all the job interviews. JPW accepts his defeats. He clearly didn't get the job. Mr. Pedersen was unimpressed with how uh, JPW handled the pressure of being falsely accused of something. And I, I don't think he's going to be getting the job, which is unfortunate. Dusty, determined traveler who uh, came from a long ways away to try to get honest work. The problem with that, of course, is that, that none of it makes sense. Well, you, Put it all together, the chat, his crumbling story, and the fact that, you know, he's the guy sitting in the kitchen across from he, He's the guy sitting in the kitchen across from me. You know, Hanson's kind of doing my job here. He's, he's doing some commentary on JPW. What's, what's going on here, Hanson? You grill the predators and you do the commentary. What can't this man do? from me you know it doesn't look good for him the young man i thought was supposed to be here what's that person's name scott was supposed to be here and he didn't yeah. mention his name i just said look at scott he's got the guy i was supposed to meet i was told okay you were construction i was looking for any kind of job huh? you don't work right now and this guy knows his rights. And this guy knows his rights. Hanson just being a dick there for no reason. I know I may have to speak to you, but I don't have to speak to the media. And I don't have to speak to you without a lawyer. Many there prosecutors you go. are. <laughs> wow, look at the size of those um the zip ties. They they didn't bother clipping those off whatsoever. Just letting JPW look even more ridiculous than usual. On the country, including Riverside County's Michelle Paradise. Yeah, I will give them this. They did let him keep his headphones. That was, that was, that was nice of the Riverside Police Department. Are not afraid to say out loud that they don't There's believe Dan Allen. most sex predators. A Dan Allen cameo in our... Who put who put this peanut butter Paradise. in my chocolate? Are not afraid to say out loud. No, there's <laughs> I don't know I don't know what Dan Allen is chocolate or peanut butter, but uh, oh, wow, a nice cameo. Most sex predators, especially those addicted to the internet, can ever be reformed. Okay. Uh, Jean Pierre Michael Damien Wiltsy Weary. Wow, my God, how many names does one man need? Uh, was arrested during the Riverside, California sting on January 6, 2006. He was charged under California's three-strike law because of his criminal history. He was sentenced to 75 years to life in prison. So, life in prison. 
uh, given his age. I think they said that he was 48 in the first half of this. In 2009, his sentence was reduced to 50 years to life upon appeal, so still life. While in prison, he wrote an autobiography under the pseudonym Damien Lartig. Pick a more, pick a more, um, uh, a better stage name. John Michael Wiltsy, Damien Weary. You have plenty of names to choose from. Where did you come up with Latirg or whatever? Uh, the book is called In for Life, Confessions of a Three-Strike Prisoner, and it was released in 2017. So, like Lauren Armstrong, he wrote a book in prison. Uh, the following information is extracted from this book. Uh, at early school age, Wiltsy was diagnosed with childhood schizophrenia. His father was an alcoholic and would often beat Jean-Pierre. That's sad. Uh, at age 11, Weary was molested by his only friend, a 15-year-old boy. Oh, that's too bad. Like Jesse Velez, you know, he has no friends. I have no friends. Maybe a young Jesse Velez and uh, Jean-Michael Weary would have been kindred spirits. You know, <laughs> Maybe in another universe that happened. When Weary was 14 years old, he was charged with child molestation and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. He had gotten two 13-year-old girls drunk and had sex with them. While being detained for a few days together with other juveniles, Weary taught a 12-year-old how to give oral sex. Okay. Uh, because of this, Weary was charged with forced sodomy of a minor and sentenced to about two years of juvenile detention. Wait, what? How does oral sex have to do with sodomy? I don't know. He served about one year before being transferred to a mental hospital. Weary was told by his psychiatrist that he has Asperger's syndrome and that he is not schizophrenic. Jesus Christ, this is all before he turns 18. At age 17, Weary was, uh, was released from the mental hospital. His family did not want anything to do with him. Just after his 18th birthday, Weary moved in with his previous psychiatrist from the mental hospital, and they became lovers. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Uh, that's, that's a twist I did not see uh, coming. This is a Joker, Harley Quinn, uh, early DCEU um, tie-in. After becoming accused of theft, Weary moved out. He became a prostitute. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's not funny, but... Oh my god, this is like the most insane story in the history of mankind. After about eight months, he moved back in with the psychiatrist. Weary began... I wonder how that affected the psychiatrist's work. You know, um... Hey, psychiatrist lady or mister or whatever... Uh, we hear that you're currently cohabitating with one of your former patients. Um, I don't know how we feel about that. Weary began studying to become a psychiatrist, but failing his classes. He also started smoking and selling crack. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> kind of a contradictory thing. I want to be a doctor, but I'm going to sell crack and also use it. Uh, when he was about 23 years old, he shot a man in the neck with a gun. Weary was having a hallucination. The man survived, and Weary was convicted of assault with a deadly weapon and sentenced to three years in prison. The prisoner, uh, the prison shot, the prison shot caller pimped Weary out in exchange for protection. Oh, the prison shot caller called. Should be some uh, some hyphens there. Uh, Weary later fell in love with another inmate, and they became lovers. Weary started attending church meetings run by. A member of the Manson family. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck is going on? This is the most insane thing ever. This is fucking insane. Every, like, every six months of his life is punctuated by some insanity from left field you could not possibly predict. Weary decided he wanted to become a minister. Okay, great. I bet that that worked out for him. When Weary was released from prison, he moved back in with the psychiatrist. This psychiatrist sounds like they need a psychiatrist. This person is insane. He was soon sentenced to three years in prison after pleading guilty to raping the ex-girlfriend of a friend of his. He served about two years. When Weary was released, he moved back in with the psychiatrist. He began studying to become a Christian minister. At age 38, he fell in love with a 25-year-old woman in his Bible study group. They got married and moved to Ohio. John Pierre Weary can get married, folks. Uh, Weary started studying to become a medical assistant. When he was 42 years old, he was sent to prison for failing to register as a sex offender. His wife divorced him. 
While incarcerated, he did sexual favors for other prisoners. He was released in July 2005 after serving about five years. In January 2006, he was arrested during the Dateline Sting operation after soliciting sex from a 13-year-old boy. Excuse me. In 2007, Weary filed petitions regarding his imprisonment and civil rights. Okay, nine years later, in 2016, he filed a new petition to have the court determine if his imprisonment is lawful. Uh, included in his petition was a psychological evaluation of Weary conducted by a psychiatrist in 2009. The, psych, uh, the psychologist concluded that Weary was having a psychotic process at the time of the evaluation. The psychologist recommended that Weary was to be remanded, was to be remanded to a mental hospital for a period of time reprimanded i i don't know what remanded means jean-pierre michael weary remains incarcerated to this day jesus fucking christ my god have you ever heard a crazier story than that like crazier than fiction my god every six months like i said it's just it's some insane and new development a new career path he's studying to be a new something that never panned out my god what a what a fellow that's Give one more picture. There we go. I think that pretty much sums up JPW. All right. Thanks for thanks for joining me on this one. Um, I will be back in the future. I always make promises and I never deliver. So you know, I'll uh, I'll I'll not make any promises about who the next predator I'll be covering will be. But I'll do, I'll do somebody at some point in time. It I I it'll probably be Corey Edgar or Jay Refter. I immediately go back on that. I'm not gonna make any promises, but it'll probably be one of these guys. Corey Edgar or Jay Refter. Keep your keep your eyes peeled for that. Alright, uh until then, uh peace.